Checkmate. What a dumb dog. I beat him three straight games. One of the most important possessions of the Western Central was his dog. In many cases, on the wild frontier, man's best friend was uh, man's only friend. Practice a little, will you? Before the end, you'd have the horse, you'd rely on the dog. With a pole frame such as this, a few dogs could pull well over a thousand pounds of game and supplies. Times sure have changed. My dog is too lazy to chase my neighbor's cat. Almost every wagon train heading towards the frontier had dogs in the caravan. And according to the Rocky Mountain News, December 2nd, 1852, a man actually crossed the plains in a rig like this pulled by two dogs. Mark Twain heard about it and wrote, Lots of folks say that between the outlaws and the Indians, the West is going to the dogs. This proves it ain't so. The dogs are going to the West. Now, with all this talk about dogs, I assume you'll think that our story is about dogs. Just to keep the record straight, and about dogs at all, it's about men. Of course, it stars a doggone fine actor, Mr. Edward G. Robinson.